All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking some popular spray sealants, putting them on the hood, torture testing them, and seeing which one comes out on top. All right. Okay, so the hood has been polished. It is completely dead. There's nothing on it, but I'm still gonna hit it with an IPA wipe to get it nice and prepped so that these spray sealants lay down on there nice. You know we want it on there nice. <laughs> Okay, so we'll be torture testing this with some of my favorite products, but keep in mind, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is a chemical resistance test, and this in no way uh, can demonstrate how it's gonna last in real world conditions, out in the sun, up in that Canadian salt and snow, or down in the tropics or in the desert heat. There's just so many different variables that it's impossible to test these legitimately. So we'll call this entertainment purposes only chemical resistance test. A new finish graphene coating. A lot of people out there say, Oh, this is good and you'll often see a lot of buzz about it but we're gonna test it out so at the time of the filming this was $24 for 24 fluid ounces or 1.5 pints that's not a bad deal that's pretty typical the $20 range is where all these sealants check in shine that lasts over one year wow that is a long time um, I doubt that very seriously. <laughs> it says that it can be put on wet or dry. This does not require any cure time. So after we buff it off, we can get right to it. But with all the sealant tests I'm gonna do, I'm gonna at least give them 24 hours, give them the benefit of the doubt, and we'll, we'll go from there. So next we'll be testing 303 Graphene Nano Spray Coating. Now I've wanted to check this out for a while. This isn't new, but it's new to me. It's hard to get over here. I don't know if there's something toxic or, or flammable, but uh, for some reason it's difficult to get over here. I finally found some. I'm, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Now this also uh, boasts one year plus protection. It says it needs to be put on dry. So it recommends getting the paint prepped and then putting it on dry. It also requires no cure time, but again, we're gonna give it to 24 hours. Uh, a lot of high hopes for this. People talked a lot about it. I'm interested in seeing it in my shop because I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> I only care what I see with my own eyes. So without any further delay, let's get the hood out there and let's get, the, get it on there and get this thing started. Yeah. Make sure we got plenty on there. This feels a lot slicker already. A whole lot slicker. All right, let's go left and right. Way, way, way slicker now. We'll see what happens once it starts to go off, but so we'll let that haze up. And you can see guys, that's gonna leave some black stuff on your towels. So keep that in mind. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use black towels. I'm not sure about the staining with this, but that's the way it's gonna be. Now we'll give it a little bit to haze up. All right, I would say that's nice and hazed up. I don't want to let it set too much longer than that. And boy, that wipes off kind of nice and easy. Yeah, not bad at all. Look at that. Well, you can feel it though. It's on there. All right, let's flip that over. Seems to be wiping clean with, you know, no residual streaking. Any streaking that's on there is easy to wipe off, which is nice. There we go. It's nice and shiny. Slickness level, not insane. It doesn't have that drying aid kind of slickness to it. Um, we'll have to see what it looks like with the water on it, but first thoughts, not incredible slick. Kind of medium slickness. You can tell something's on there, but it's not like, wow, that's crazy slick or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and do the new finish graphene coating. Now, kind of excited about this. We're gonna see how this goes. Let's get a nice amount on there. Not incredibly slick. Oh yeah, if you don't get that off right away, man, that leaves some work left. Oh, that leaves some some meat left on the bone there. Yeah, it's 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 
hard for me to get off. It's not coming off easy, it's streaky. I'm not really feeling like this is the way I like to go with this process. It's a lot of work. Gloss level, it looks nice and shiny. I still got some streaking on here, which I don't want to spend too much time and tear the paint all up trying to get it off. But slickness level, pretty low. It's pretty low. Not that drying aid style slickness where you're like, wow, that feels good. You don't want to come by and rub it. It feels tacky. I mean, it just doesn't have any like slick, uh, crazy banana peel kind of feel to it. So far, here's my thoughts. The 303 went on easier. It's, it's spread out a lot easier. It seemed like it took less product to get coverage and it wiped off easy with no streaking. The new finish. I had to use a lot of it. I feel like it was a wipe on, quickly wipe off, because once it starts to flash, it's difficult to get off. On the slickness scale, this is kind of a little slick, nothing, nothing really I would consider good, and this felt tacky. So that's where we're at now. Let's let it set, we'll come back and give this thing a check with some water on it.
So what did you think? Man, that new finish, when it came time to get busy, that stuff got on its horse and got out of Dodge. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. I gotta call it as I see it. 303, that hung on. That took a beating. It, I mean, it was just getting hammered and just hung on and hung on. But it finally let go. You knew it was gonna let go at some point, and it did. It did a good job, though. I gotta say, it hung in there. I'm kind of anxious to put it up against the others and see what rises to the top. If you guys saw anything in here today that you liked and you wanna check out, I'll leave links down in the description. You know I appreciate that. Comment down below who did you think was the winner was. It's not all about what I think. I care what you think too. So let me know down below. If you liked the video, consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel. I love it, man. And if you got, oh, one more thing. If you guys have any of your products that you want me to bring in and put into my non-scientific entertainment test, let me know. I'll look into it. If it makes sense, I'll bring it in here and we'll hammer it. <laughs> all right, so that's all I got today. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.